Hey everybody, it's Maria from cardbomb.blogspot.com. I'm so glad to have you joining me today for this month's Creating Kindness Design Team video hop. Our theme for this month is inspiration, and our team has based our projects on anything that we wanted that inspires us. For me, it happened to be 30 minutes of free time, and I'm really looking forward to checking out the rest of my teammates' videos to see what has inspired them in the projects that they've created this month. When I started making this project, I had absolutely no idea what I would be making. I just knew that I was tired of doing my taxes and I needed a break. I decided to give myself 30 minutes and see what I could do within that time frame. I started out with a piece of watercolor paper, an aqua painter filled with water, and some Daffodil Delight and Melon Mambo inks. I wet my background and mixed both colors wet because I wanted more of a watercolor wash blended look. Had I wanted to have a more layered watercolor look, I would have made sure to dry the inks between, between colors. I used my heat tool so that I could set the color, and then I had to figure out where to go next with this project, so I grabbed the Sweet Soiree accessories pack, some shimmery white embossing paste, a tool, and the Memories and More Petal Passion pack, which has some really cool cards in it. I decided to grab out a couple and see what would happen from there. I grabbed a piece of scratch paper to put underneath my watercolor background so that I could use some of this shimmery white embossing paste. If you haven't used this paste yet, you gotta check it out. It's so sparkly, but in a really subtle, beautiful way. Um, I used the diamond embossing mask and didn't even bother to tape it down. I'm on a time frame here, people, and I just was, I was just going for it. I wasn't willing to stop for anything. Once I had a nice layer of paste down, I lifted the mask off and immediately went to clean my, my tool. It's really important to clean your tools after you use this embossing paste because it dries very quickly and you wanna make sure you get all of it off immediately so that you aren't left with residue on your tools. I used a baby wipe to clean this mask as well, dried it off, and now I'll throw it in my sink. These vellum and silver flowers from the Sweet Soiree pack are so gorgeous. I was just sure I was going to use a ton of them on my card. Next, I grabbed one of the cards from the Petal Passions Memory and More card kit, and I cut a half-inch strip off of the edge. It's about six inches long, so I'm going to need to trim some of it off my card, but I don't mind doing that. I like the way that that black and white striped edge looks on this card, and I think that the watercolor background is going to look really pretty on top of it. Yep. I'm happy with that. So now I have to decide on a sentiment. Love life or so happy to be with you? Oh, it's a tough choice. So I decide to punch out the love life and then I decide, I do like the way that it looks, but I also want to see what this is going to look like once I cut it out. So I used my snips to start and um, I didn't like the way that the edges of it, of the sentiment were white. So I grabbed my black stamp and write marker and colored in the sides so that when I put it on the card, you wouldn't see any of those white edges. Now, this is the last you're gonna see of that sentiment because I tossed it off the side to dry and forgot completely about it. So you guessed it, I end up using the love life sentiment simply because I completely forgot about the, the black sentiment that I think I would have gone with if I hadn't forgotten about. Now I just used some glue dots and some beautiful sparkly Bermuda Bay ribbon to trim out the side of that watercolor background. And I've grabbed out of my scrap bin this glimmer, silver glimmer paper with the number four cut out of it. And I decided that if I placed it properly, I could use the bottom of that four to, to tie a ribbon through. And it ended up working exactly like I hoped. I think this is the reason why paper crafters don't throw any of their scraps away because there's always a fantastic use for everything on your desk. So now I'm gonna use my fast fuse and I'm gonna adhere that to the four now that I've got the ribbon placed the way that I'd like it to be. And I'm making sure that a little bit of that silver glimmer paper is showing, but I do wish that I had had a little bit more sticking out because once I tie the bow, the silver glimmer paper is mostly hidden. That's okay, it's still there as an accent, but if I were to do it again, I probably would have had more showing. I put mini dimensionals on the back of my watercolor base, and I used my table to line up the edges so that I could make sure that I adhered it straight. Um, now I'm gonna add that love light, and I decided that I wanted to add a little something else to my background, so I grabbed that stamp and write marker again and used the tip of the marker inside the cap just to flick some black spatters onto my background. Now I'm going to see how I can add in some of these 
beautiful vellum and silver flowers and leaves, and I just decided it just wasn't right. I didn't want to hide any more of that background, so I opted for some black metallic thread instead, and I wound, I don't know, six or seven lengths around my fingers, pinched it, and cut. Then I just stuck it into the dimensionals that are on the back of the sentiment piece. Uh, as I faced it forward, I just pulled a little bit at the edges of the metallic thread so that I could make sure that it was peeking out from all edges of the circle. One of the ends came loose and that made it actually easier for me to readjust the thread the way that I wanted it. Now I'm going to stick this right on the front of my car, trim the edges of the ribbon, and voila! In about 20 minutes I made this card. I was so proud of myself. Now remember, today's hop is part of the Creating Kindness Design Team Inspiration Video Hop, and I can't wait to see the projects that my teammates have made, and I hope you'll hop along with me to check them out too. Links to their blogs are in the description below. You can also find links to both my blog and my shop. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you back here so soon. Goodbye!